Manchester City not looking overawed at all in the early minutes here of this second round FA Cup tie at Brenton Park. Excellent work from Clack. Jones! Oh, that should be 1-0 for the non-league side. Brilliant work here from Josh Clack to get beyond Manny Month. And when he delivers the cross, it's so inviting for Scott Jones. He knows he should do better. That is a real let-off for Tramia. Caprice with the throw here for the League One side. Now Ferrier, who's looked lively whenever he's been on the ball, running deep into that Chichester defence. And this is Corey Blackett-Taylor just skimming off the crossbar, I think. Well, what a good chance. Tramia's best so far for Corey Blackett-Taylor. Chichester relieved. Certainly Potter and Perkins getting more on the ball now in the heart of the Tranmere midfield. They're beginning to open up the gaps here. Blackett Taylor, Ryde Halsh, close to half time. Oh, it's a mistake in there and a good save by Mothorpe. That's the only real save that Stephen Mothorpe's had to make in the first half to deny Hepburn Murphy. Tranmere, from their perspective, want a fast start to this second half at times they look the inferior team in the first period here's caprice lifts a good ball in top the bar and in by blackett taylor and tramia have the early lead in the second half through corey blackett taylor well there's not much that chichester can do when the header from ferrier comes back off the crossbar but did he come back from an offside position Flag stayed down, and Blackett Taylor makes it 1 0. Chichester with work to do now. Here's Month. Launches that one forward. Should be dealt with. Oh, and it isn't. It's a horrible mistake between the two centre backs, and Ferrier makes it 2 0 for Tramia. Two goals in quick succession. And this all stems from horrible defending from the captain, Cody and Heath, who were so good in the first half, but so culpable there. Don't give gifts to any team, let alone a side in League One. And Ferrier makes it Tremier 2, Chichester 0. Tremier passing the ball with more accuracy, more zip. And as a consequence, asking further questions of Chichester here. Ferrier forces the corner. Has been the standout player for Tramia, the number 10. Chichester trying to force a chance here. Scott Davis has not had a save to make yet in the Tramia goal. Launch forward again by Month. Bouncing ball could be awkward for the two centre backs, and Ferrier is in, and he makes them pay once more. Terrible defending by Chichester's captain Connor Cody and his centre back partner Corey Heath. For the second time, they allow Ferrier the chance. Still took it well. And they are in danger of imploding here, the non league side. They're 3 0 down. It's all Tranmere at the moment. Perkins, legs tiring. The occasion beginning to tie the minds of the Chichester players. Caprice in round the back, and it's four to hat trick for Morgan Ferrier. Lovely assist from Jake Caprice. Chichester with no answer to this. But is it a question of Ferrier being offside again? He looks offside from there. The assistant seemed to be in line and said that Ferrier was level with Caprice. 4 0 for Tranmere. Jennings. Caprice seeing a lot of the ball on the right hand side. Header's not decisive. And he's made to pay for that. Corey Heath didn't get much distance on his header. He was at stretch. And Blackett Taylor was in there to score Tramia's fifth. Nice timing on the volley. But again, from Chichester's point of view, a preventable goal. Goal now for Chichester will go down in club folklore and they've got it. 
in stoppage time and the substitute Ryan Peake got his forehead onto this and at full time at Prenton Park, Tramia 5, Chichester City 1.